So we've had a disaster in the studio. The table has fallen off the wall. It's just like cracked all the wall and it's all like fell out and everything. Oh. Also, we've got a bag of goodies here that I'm gonna do a haul with. So let's have a look what I bought from the works. Hello guys and welcome to another studio vlog. I can't believe what's just happened. That slowly has been like falling off over time. And then we came into the studio this morning. It, it completely fell on top of my photography lamps. So I'm gonna have to try and figure out a way of patching up the wall. The walls in here in the studio are really, really brittle and can't really hold things well. And I think the reason why that one in particular, because I've got two and they're both from Ikea, I think the reason why that one fell off the wall is because I leaned on it quite a few times to open and shut the window. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to put it back up, but it's really, really helpful. Um, unless there's somewhere else I can put it. But I don't know whether I'm just going to patch it up or put it back up anyway. I've got a little haul here. I actually went out into town and got these yesterday when me and Dean registered for our wedding. Uh, and it's stuff for the photography, which I need to do now because I need to photograph the planners that are going up at 4pm today. And it is now half past 12 and we're going for coffee. So I really need to get a move on. And I'm going to use some of these props to take photos with but i thought i would just show you kind of um what i bought and stuff hi then hi just talking yeah why not anyway i got all these from the works because there was a sale on in the works and i thought these would be really really nice for photography props and stuff because i have a little tub over there and this is just my reusable bag. I have a little tub um, that we got from Craft Options and I keep all like little props and little like paper clips and stuff like that. I am uh, in that drawer for when I do photography and I want to do like flat layers and stuff. And we had to kill some time, so we popped into the woods and I found some bargains, so I thought I couldn't help myself and uh, bought some stuff to take photography props with. So the first thing I bought are these cute little animals, like wooden animals, and I thought they would just look nice laid out. There's loads of different ones. I think they're little mushrooms, and these were 50p, so I thought they're really cute photography props. I also got these little mini wooden plaques I thought my bees would look cute uh, for Instagram because I really want to up my photography game on Instagram and stuff and, and these were one British pound really like them and then I got these little geometric wooden beads and these were again 50p and I just thought they would look cute in the corners and it breaks up the image and that's what I like about them then I got some pens. Now these were buy one get one free but what I didn't realise was these were only a pound and this one was three pound so I should have really got another three pound pen rather than another one pound pen. Never mind. Uh, I got three of these kind of gold and pastel coloured pens. I thought they would look really nice laid out next to the planners. Uh, when I'm taking photos and I also use these because they look really cute and then the final one was this more expensive one which is like copper and it's got flakes of copper grey and dusky pink and I thought that would be nice laid out as well also makes a really nice pen to write with and the final thing I purchased was this scrapbook paper pad in pastel colour and this was on offer for £1.50 so for those of you who don't know usually I have these pieces of card down here that I use as photography backdrops and I actually printed a lot of them out I'd print out a whole A3 sheet of a colour that I wanted to use and yeah it's not the best way to put your printer to the test but when I seen these I thought this is brilliant because it's got all sorts of different coloured pastel papers in that'll make really nice photography backdrops so that's my new kind of photography haul stuff so super excited about them right now rather than oops i just knocked you sorry about that rather than talking to the camera um i'm going to set up my photography stuff and get to work on photographing some products
Hello guys and happy Monday. I'm back in the studio. I can't even remember what happened on Friday because I time walked throughout the whole day. Basically the time just seemed to get the better of me and before I knew it it was like evening and it was dark outside. But basically what I did was I took photos of all the planners. Oh I've got like an itchy nose or something. I then put them in a Lightroom and Photoshop, edited them and then uploaded them onto Etsy ready for the launch at 4pm so it was very very rushed. I was trying to get everything done and it took a lot longer than I thought but then I also wanted to change my Etsy banner because the Christmas banner was still up and while I was in the zone I decided to design an Etsy banner as well. I wanted to start exploring using minimalist minimalism in my design and my work to give it a kind of clean and professional edge and just make my soul look a little bit more professional and yeah tidy and stuff so let me know what you think of that the color scheme i'm still not 100 percent sold on i'm not sure if i'm a fan of the yellow and pink combination i think it's quite to me it's quite bold and garish i've just seen something run across my floor what the heck <laughs> to me it's quite bold and garish so i'm not quite sure how I think about it but I had an experiment of colours uh, and I have definitely stuck to the blue and pink colour scheme <laughs> like my nails that I got done the other day I kind of have been applying it to everything so today Emily is in the studio and the other one packing up all the planner sales so thank you so much to those of you who supported us by buying the planners and stuff I will be releasing some more planners eventually and today I'm going to have a day of just pure editing anyway I really wanted to show you the planner the spread that I did last week um, as you know I've been enjoying this bullet journal by Cat's Planner and look how cute this looks I got some um, stickers gifted off um, some wonderful viewers and I've kind of just been yeah really enjoying bullet journaling and stuff looks really cute am i right but me and emily we lost track of time so much so that we didn't even get to go for our fika fridays and we didn't get to go for coffee so i think we're actually going to go for a coffee today yeah i'm just going to get to work on editing and i'll see you in a little bit and show you kind of the little strawberry designs that i want to do um i showed my patrons the sketchbook because if you're um, a member of the sketchbook tier and above you get to see behind the scenes before anyone else so they have already seen kind of the strawberry range that i want to bring out i want to bring out some more food pins and food related items and i also think a strawberry like themed shopping list would be really really cute like pink and reds maybe so that's something i've got in mind but i don't know if i'll get that done today anyway i'm gonna get to work on editing and i and i need to use a card that's in this camera so i'll see you in a little bit finished editing one of my videos I've still got another two to edit but I don't think I'm gonna get two done because it's now three o'clock Dean wanted to come for coffee with us so we've been packaging orders and then before we know it it's three o'clock it's way past lunchtime but we're still gonna get coffee and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take my iPad with us because I want to do a strawberry a little tiny dinky strawberry enamel pin like really really cute really really tiny uh, to put on coats and things like that so I'm actually gonna take my iPad with me so I kind of mean just doing work in the dark and it's super cozy I've got like this lamp on behind me and also the shelves have been put back up and that's so much better because now it's mounted to this wall I can put it up and down and I can get access to the window because the reason it broke is because I leaned over to open the window while it was extended and it snapped it down so I just need to sand this and paint the walls white but for now I'm taking my iPad and we're gonna go for coffee I kind of like it in the winter because the office is dead cold so let's lock up. Oh, have you got my backpack? Oh, I need to put my iPad in it. One second, Dean. Nice pack back, Ken. Pack pack. <laughs> nice pack back. <laughs> nice pack back. We've come to the doghouse and we're sat in the conservatory bit. And now I'm gonna get my iPad out and do some doodling.
Oh my gosh, I am super duper wintered. I don't know if you can hear, but it's absolutely tanking down with rain outside and it's pitch black. It has kind of felt like it's been dark all day, to be honest. Um, anyway, I'm back in the studio. We only have a little bit of time left because we went really, really late for our um, coffee and our break. I feel pretty unmotivated today. I don't know why. Uh, I feel like I haven't got a lot done. I don't know where the day's gone because I kind of just feel like I edited my vlog and I drew some strawberries. That's pretty much all I've done today and replied to some emails. I don't know. I'm, not, I'm just feeling a bit like I can't focus in and concentrate today. So I'm hoping if I come back to work with a fresh brain, uh, it'll feel much better. Anyway, I shared a picture of some strawberries earlier on and while I was in the cafe I ended up doing this little berry and then I just didn't like the way he was turning out so this was actually the original one and I changed the face and stuff so he's a little cuter, it was a little higher up but I'm still not sure about this, I think, I think it's cute, I still like it but for a pin it's not what I had in mind so I've done another little friend I think this would make a really cute postcard or greetings card so um, I'm still going to stick as a design and use it for something and then I have been making little mini strawberries that are going to be pins now I want these pins to be really small and really ditty and kind of cute so I'm going to ask my patrons which uh, one will like whether they like the reds or the pinks and let me know in the comments which one you would prefer if you'd prefer the red um, or the pink. I'm feeling pastel pink because I just like pastel pink but the red could be quite cute and could be quite different so not quite sure to be honest. Yeah I'll see you tomorrow and I'm just gonna yeah create a thumbnail, share this and go home. Hello guys and happy Tuesday. I have no idea what day of the week it is. I'm in, I've got all my light boxes set up and everything and I'm just about to film a watercolour brush pack procreate video which hopefully if everything goes according to plan you will have seen before this video um, and yeah I'm going to experiment with it. I've just downloaded the brush packs, exported it to procreate and then I just have to install it and everything. So I've currently got all the lights set up so I've just got my ring light here uh, and two soft boxes, one here and one here and then I'm just going to do a top down shot um, for procreate and mount it on this um, mount thing that I've got oh there we go I just need to do the camera settings and everything so that all the camera settings are right as you can see the room is nice and bright uh, oh I don't need this actually that's not what I need this is what I need anyway I'll catch up with you in a little bit because I have been procrastinating all morning it's currently 12 o'clock I haven't done anything apart from watch Nikki tutorials coming out video which I'm so proud of her for it's just insane I'm, I was shocked when seeing it but it was just amazing and then I've been like just on YouTube, I, I, honestly I should ban myself from YouTube on a morning so that I don't procrastinate because I kept putting off this video. Uh, so now I'm going to actually do it and record it so I'll see you in a little bit. I'm all set up, this is my setup. I always put paper down, I just like a different coloured background. <laughs> but this is what it looks like when it's uncropped and I've put some little accessories in. I don't know if I'm going to keep them in yet because I haven't actually mounted the camera to see what it looks like. And to keep the um, paper in place, I just secure it with some dangle washi tape. The dangle washi tape I've got in my store. And I just use that to secure the tape down so if I'm moving Procreate around, uh, the background doesn't shift. So yeah, I think I might actually have my dinner before I film this because I'm really hungry. So I've just finished illustrating this little cute watercolour Olaf and uh, experimented with the watercolour brush pack. Oh my god, I had so much fun doing this. The watercolour textures in this brush pack were actually insane. So if you want to check that video out, that will have gone live before the studio vlog. Anyway, now I have to edit this video. It's Tuesday and I like to get 
ideally I aim for a video on a Tuesday and on a Thursday so I'm just going to take the memory card out of this camera and I'm going to sit down and edit so there's not going to be much to show you. I also try to do a second shot. What I normally do is I set up one or two cameras so they're at different angles but I couldn't, this kept just shutting off and crashing. It, it was crashing so much so that the lens was stuck out and this is my Canon G7X what I normally like vlog with out and about. Um, so I think it might have been a memory card error. So I've only got a top down shot. And I've also do it, done it different this time. I'm going to do a voiceover. Instead of me talking as I'm illustrating, I find that really distracting. I'm just gonna do, I just got in the zone, I listened to Animal Crossing music, and I decided that I was gonna do like a voiceover for it. And my thoughts, rather than, you know, breaking away and talking as I was kind of experimenting with all the brushes and stuff, I just find it easier. Uh, and I'm going to see how I like that format. So if you watched that video, let me know what you thought of that format as well. So I wish I drew Olaf a little bit better. He, it's not the best illustration I've ever done, but I'm really happy with the colours in it. It's really, really pretty. So now I'm going to go through the other room. Oops. And I am going to edit this baby. Hello guys and happy Wednesday. I was in for a very long time last night. I didn't get home till 8pm. I don't know what it was but yesterday and Monday I've suffered so bad from procrastination. Things that would normally take me maybe four hours like the editing for the video, the procreate video ended up taking me so much longer because I kept procrastinating and breaking away from the task which usually I'm quite disciplined with. Usually I can sit down and really like focus and just get in and have no distractions. I turn my phone off and stuff but yesterday was a whole other story. So today I am going to see my friend Lindsay from Nutmeg so I'm gonna actually start a new studio vlog because I have no idea how much content or what I have filmed in the studio vlog so I'm so sorry if it's a little all over and a little crazy I still hope you really enjoyed it uh, but next studio vlog you'll get to see me hopping out uh, traveling to Stockton to see Lindsay which I'm really excited for because I haven't seen her new studio yet so yeah I'll see you next week and I'll see you all very soon I really eat she knows. Alright then. I love you. Goodbye.